I've never been more proud to be Ukrainian Canadian. Canadian communities from coast to coast to coast have raised the Ukrainian flag, lit up the cities and towns in yellow and blue, and have stood firmly behind the people of Ukraine. I want to thank Mayor Alan Thompson and the town of Caledon for raising the Ukrainian flag today. And to the people of Ukraine, I say this, we support you. There are millions, if not billions of people around the world that stand firmly behind your fight against a tyrannical dictator, Vladimir Putin. Canadians will do whatever we can to support you in defending your freedom and sovereignty. Shenov Merlo Ukraina, Slava Ukraini, Heroim Slava. I want to thank everybody for coming out here today, Chief. I want to thank you, uh, Chief Forfire, for being here. I have uh, Councillor Ennis with her daughter. I have Councillor De Boer here with me as well. And on behalf of myself, uh, as the Mayor of Caledon, we want to thank the Potava community coming out to all the Ukrainian community. Uh, you're a big part of Caledon, and we want to show that we're with you. Uh, we've had our town hall lit up and will be for two weeks with the, with the colors of the Ukrainian uh, flag. And uh, we got our flag here made in Canada uh, that we just got made up here yesterday to uh, fly to show the support for the Ukrainian uh, community for the outcries and the devastation that's happening that's just unbelievable and unacceptable. So our community is with you. And Ron, if I can ask you to come forward and uh, uh, have a few words. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Chief, fellow councillors. It's much appreciated that you would come out on this day, but ultimately we're here because we stand for something. And what do we stand for? We stand for freedom. We stand for the right of people to make their own choice. And ultimately we stand up for human dignity. Many people such as I are descendants of people who went through this 60, 70, 80 years ago. We're standing here today because Canada welcomes with open arms and allowed us to prosper and take advantage of this great nation. Something that should be duplicated in Ukraine. On TV the other day, there was a woman in a so-called bomb shelter, which was really her basement. She was there with three young children and cradled in her arms was a six-month-year-old. And the interviewer asked her, have you thought of leaving? She says, well, my husband joined the military, was a journalist two days ago. And we talked about it a lot, but he reminded me that we're going to die anyways. And this was a good way to die. I just want you to think about that. The valor, the dignity, the courage that the people there are showing. So it's, it's really up to us to protect those people and do whatever we can to raise our voices, to donate, to do anything we can, because ultimately, what those people are fighting for are values that are very dear to us. And Calvin will have a representative there because I'm not saying this to honor myself in any way. I'll be there in a few days doing what I can and working as best I can to represent you. So let's add our voice. There's a saying in Ukrainian, I'll repeat it in English, Slava Ukraini Heroim Slava. So I'm gonna end up by using that very familiar phrase, glory to Ukraine, glory to its heroes, and I'm gonna add glory to its peoples, and God bless Canada. Thank you very much.